Okay, so for this fight, um, basically the DPS is going to take down the ads in the back first while I get the aggro on the boss. I'm going to pull the uh, boss over to that wall um, because he does have a knockback and um, while you guys take down the ads. Once the ads are down, we start DPS on the boss. Now what the boss does is he jumps to somebody else and uh, starts doing a spinning attack. You have a couple of second grace period for this, but basically you need to run away once he jumps to somebody else because he will do the spinning attack and it's pretty unforgiving. It will kill you in about three seconds if you don't get out of it. Um, he might jump to you, Anna. Uh, you will see a, visical, <laughs> a very visible jump even though you're probably going to be right behind him. Uh, but he'll do it and then that's when you run away. Um, other than that, it's pretty much a tank and spank, pretty easy fight. You want to beat the enrage timer, but it's usually <laughs> not a problem. He's real easy. Tried to pull that on me again, did you? Okay, so for uh, the Mandalorian fight here, um, basically what's going to happen is Ray and Josh are both going to run up to the center turret, and uh, they are going to keep the ship at bay. Um, actually, Josh will primarily be the one doing that. Josh <laughs> will uh, keep the ship at bay with the turret, but Ray's going to run up there first because uh, he will pull the first person to go up there away from it. Uh, as for me, I will get aggro on him and we will start DPSing him. He does get a little shield when his shield is up, his little bubble shield. Uh, he is immune to damage, so no need to go crazy on him while that is up. Uh, however, uh, when the ship gets closer, the shield goes down. Uh, that's when we DPS. Eventually the, shi the ship will die and then we can just finish him off. He's not, he doesn't hit too hard in most cases, but he does do a couple of little surprises. Um, he does do a grapple, and after the grapple, whoever he grapples, he will punch. And uh, it is a knockback, so that could potentially knock you off. So, um, hopefully you aren't facing the edge of the platform when he does that. Uh, then there is something that he does called Flame Sweep that needs to be interrupted because it's a pretty nasty AoE. So um, Ray and I will be trading interrupts on that, but if you ever see it up, Anna, you should definitely uh, try to interrupt it if your interrupt is up. <laughs> Other than that, pretty simple fight. Uh, not too hard to kill, especially when the ship goes down. Alright, here we go. Stay still! Got it. Wait, no I didn't. <laughs> Must have been Ray. Down. 
God. Got it. Hit it. Can you get it, Anna? Watch out. Okay, for these guys, um, we're going to DPS one down, and the other one is going to go into a blue state. Consistently, the one on the left is the one who um, we start on. The one on the right is the one who goes into the blue state first. So we DPS them down. The one in the blue state um, is immune to damage, but he will um, throw little lightsabers at um, people. He is still tankable. Um, while he's in this blue state, so I can actually get aggro on him, and he can throw them at me. Um, but the little lightsaber things—they hurt. They don't—they don't hurt too bad, though. Um, sometimes the healers can actually heal right through it without a problem. Um, but we <laughs> DPS the one that's not in the blue state. Eventually, they're going to switch, um, and then you switch to the. Obviously, you switch to the one who's not in the blue state, attack them, and uh, just DPS them both down until they're both dead. Uh, not a lot else to that fight besides that.
Alright, switch. Going down in one. Alright, so the HK-47 fight comes in basically three stages. First stage, um, I will go in and get his aggro, turn him around so that he's facing the railing. Uh, anybody who has force sleep uh, will be knocked back if they try to force sleep in there, so um, shouldn't bother. Uh, so just tank him for the first part. Um, during this part, you'll first notice the little white reticules that come up under your feet. Now these will follow you around while they're white, but then they will turn red and you can get out of them and you want to do so because a plasma beam will be shot at it and you don't want to be in that. <laughs> um, second phase, turrets will come up on the sides and these turrets have shields on them. They are completely immune to damage while these shields are up. Uh, so any range you have, you want to stand them next to the turrets because <laughs> the only way to take those shields down is to take those little white reticules and put them on um, the turrets and the plasma beam will knock back, knock down the shields. Um, so Anna, if you see any of those little white reticules get on your feet, just take it over to a turret that has a shield on it to knock it down. Um, it only takes one, so <laughs> after uh, one shield has gone down, the range should switch to the other turret to get its shield down. You want to get both shields <laughs> down because otherwise at the end of the fight there's no way to take their shields down and then you're basically going to have to die. Third phase, he uh, goes into um, his stealth phase, <laughs> so he'll go into stealth and there's not a lot you can do when he initially goes into stealth. However, he will pop out, put a dot on somebody, and uh, this dot is curable, and it also helps for uh, juggernaut tanks to intercede to the target. Um, he will, after he puts the dot on, he will go into stealth again. The sec when he goes into stealth that time, that's when you start AoEing. If you start AoEing, it will knock him out of stealth, and then you can resume DPS. When he initially goes into stealth, he is not able to be knocked out, but after he puts the dot on you and goes back into stealth, you AoE, and you can knock him out. Then it's just a DPS race to get him down because he does enrage and uh, he will start one-shotting everybody. And uh, after he's dead, then you kill the turrets. Otherwise, you just ignore the turrets for the entire fight because uh, they don't really do <laughs> that much damage. So, any questions? Um, just note, you need to stay behind him because he does an AoE frontal conal attack to make sure you don't get in front of him at any point. Yeah. That's a good point. Yep, he does an AoE frontal clonal, so just stay behind him. That's why I'm turning him around towards the railing. Okay, here we go. Now he will do a thing called snipe where he turns around and uh, will try to snipe somebody. 
This has no effect on his aggro because he will actually turn back to the tank if the tank has aggro. Turrets are up. Oh, shield didn't go down on that one. Something's wrong with that turret, the shield's not coming on. Alright, going into stealth. I think he enraged. He did. Must have fixed that. So it wasn't coming off with the red reticule. The final boss fight. Uh, we are going to fight Malgus. So basically, what happens? We go in here. We have a conversation. We start fighting him. It's basically a tank and spank. Uh, periodically, he will single out a person to fight uh, alone. It will start with, um, you know, uh, Malgus fills Kane's mind with, a, you know, visions of doubt, yada yada, and uh, eventually he will then stun that person for so long and then he will uh, force choke the rest of the group and fight that person alone for a bit. He doesn't hit very hard so it's not, not really a big deal to fight him alone. Um, but after he comes out of the fight sometimes what he does is this thing called unlimited power. That has to be interrupted absolutely because it will one shot at least all of the squishies in the group. So if you ever see unlimited power spam your interrupt. Um, so we keep doing that, he'll work his way through the group, at around 10% um, he will stop taking damage and just start spamming force lightning. <laughs> so um, he can be knocked back during that time, and uh, what we need to do is we need to, at around 15%, I will drag him over to the pit. And then when he hits 10%, he starts spamming force lightning. We um, 
can then knock him back while he's spamming it because he's not able to be knocked back while he's not uh, shooting his force lightning and so we knock him into the pit and that's the end of the fight. Enjoyed myself this much since the sacking of Coruscant. All right, Anna, get prepared to fight him. but it won't be enough. and got it. I should have killed you on Ilum when I had the chance. Enough games. Got it, I think. There we go. Pulling him over. <laughs> Watch your back. <laughs> September 7th. Alright, here, get ready. With it. 